Okay, today this is probably going to be the last video I make about uh, the Cozy, at least right now. Um, this should cover the last thing that people are interested in, and I think it's what most people on um, looking at these videos hits on is the fact that it has a 540. So let me go ahead and go over the pros and cons of the 540 and uh, show you the install. So here's the 540 mounted on the Cozy. Um, let's start with uh, how it actually mounts to the aircraft. So right here you can see it has a fifth mount on the top where the uh, 320 and the 360 just have the lower two mounts. Uh, the mounts that uh, go through the firewall and are anchored to the top of the spar. And then the lower mount, which is anchored to your box between your uh, spar landing gear and your engine mount. So you have that uh, there. On this one, um, Cozy Girls mount, they chose to put a fifth mount here just to do some extra stabilization. Um, I don't know how much good it would do if you didn't reinforce that. Uh, I've reinforced this up here on the inside and outside. This whole area is reinforced. And then right here along the window line, all this comes all the way down. I have several layers of bi-directional cloth from the top all the way down to the top of the strake on the outside and the inside to uh, give it strength. I also have probably a six inch square of uh, several plies of bid on both sides there also. Uh, I think it just adds more stability. I mean, if you're gonna bolt it to the firewall, it, it definitely needs to be reinforced. Uh, the engine, I believe, is mounted closer to the firewall than the 360 is, uh, probably to try and help offset the added weight and the, for the balance of the aircraft. If you look right here, I do have one magneto. It's the smallest magneto I could find, and the wires barely clear the firewall. I mean, this is a very snug fit to the firewall. That being said, with the extra length of the extra cylinder, which I'm guessing is probably makes the engine roughly seven inches longer, maybe. Uh, somebody could look that up and totally correct me. That being said, you, you get an extra seven, eight inches. You come in for landing or takeoff, and you rotate you're sticking out this much farther and it can actually get closer to the ground than the same rotation on a 360 because you have more uh, length in the back there. Um, that's something you have to be careful with. My two bladed prop, I actually sanded the tips by like an eighth of an inch coming in for a landing. Uh, that was my fault, but it's definitely clearances are uh, tighter on rotation with a 540 than they are with a 360. Uh, other aspects of the 540 is the added weight. So uh, it does add weight to your airplane. I'm not certain how much, but I believe it's you know, 100, 100, maybe 100 pounds roughly, give or take. Uh, I used to know what I, I forgot that. Um, other aspects of the 540, I actually think it's an easier engine to find right now. The 360s have been snapped up by the RV guys. Uh, the 540s are starting to get used more with the RV10 because it has a 540 build in it. Um, I'll go ahead and show you underneath here. Uh, air intake on an 85 degree elbow uh, right in front of the NACA scoop. Now, cooling has been challenging for me. Um, I'm trying to cool 50% more engine with the same intake. Uh, I'm getting closer. Uh, But it's not completely solved yet. Um, I do have the Burkut exhaust headers on here. And I ended up having to put these exhaust tips that shoot to the side. I, there's no way I could clock this prop so the exhaust missed it, having a six bladed or a, a three bladed prop with six cylinders. It, uh, there's really no way to time it. It just, the prop's going to get hit, and I was cooking it. Uh, this seems to have solved the cooking the prop issue. Um, I don't know how much drag it might increase, pop and exhaust sideways, um, but it's better than cooking the prop off, so I'll, I'll just have to live with it.
I'm not really sure what else anybody would like to know about my uh, 540. It's pretty simple. Um, I'm going to say this. I probably said it in a previous video. I really think engine selection, uh, a major component of engine selection is how much weight you plan on flying around in the front seat. Um, if you're a very light person and you're going to be flying with a very light person or no person at all, uh, this is probably overkill. If you're a big guy like me, weighs 240 pounds, um, I might be flying with other larger guys. Uh, this offsets it and allows you to fly with that much weight in the front with a very nice balance. Um, you do get a little bit more top speed out of this. You're gonna uh, buy some more gas to do it. Uh, the climb rate's significantly nicer. This thing, this thing climbs really well. Uh, I like it, I'm glad I did it, and I would do this engine again for myself. So, so that's it. There's the engine. Um, any questions, put them below and I'll try and answer them. Have a good day.